Welcome back my fellow collectors. I'm Calvin aka Statue Fanatic here with another review. Today we're going to take a look at another Diamond Select figure from their gallery line. This is of Castlevania Dracula from the Netflix series. That's right. Netflix has a series based on Castlevania and it is a really really awesome uh, series. Lord Dracula has lived apart from humanity for centuries until the attention of a woman drew him back into the world of men. Her death would spur Dracula to rain down doom on all of Europe, a punishment it brought upon itself by taking away the one thing its greatest monster loved. So if you haven't checked that out, please check that out. But what we're looking at here is the art box. It's just like all of the other art boxes with the uh, windows that you can see. Uh, the figure inside of the box packaged really well. And as you can see, this is a GameStop exclusive and it was only $49.99. And as we look in the inside of the cover, you can see that there's some really cool artwork inside of this of the character. So without further ado, let's get this out of the box and unpackaged. And now we have him out of the bat box and as he turns around, you can see some of the elements here. The stance that he's in looks really cool with his arms extended like that. I love the drape of the cape around his shoulders and draping down to the base there. And as he turns back around here, you can see those flames that he's kind of conjuring up in front of him. And what's really cool about these flames, and we'll talk about that more, is that there's a, a orange glow there they're casting on the rocks. And I think that was really cool the way that they did that. Overall, the pose of this guy looks really fantastic but without further ado let's just get more into some of the more minute elements of the statue but overall i love the statue taking a look at his portrait i love it i love the way the hair drapes his face i really love the expression on his face the sculpt and the design in his costume as he goes down you can see those red highlights the way that that's sculpted in design going down that looks great um, the sash that's, that's around his waist, I like the sculpt on that as well. And as we go down uh, to the flames, you can see they chose to use this translucent type material, even though this is a PVC statue. And like I mentioned earlier, as you look at the base, you can see where they've painted the base in such a way that it, you can see the highlights from the flame being cast on the rocks. I think that orange glow on the rocks is a really nice touch to the paint job. As we look at a side view here, you can see still a lot of nice sculpt and detail in the side view of this character. You can see his ears sculpted quite clearly there. It looks really awesome. And then as you go down, the same thing, the sash, you can see that. And, and you can see the bony outlines of his hands and, and the ring that he's wearing. That looks awesome as well. You can actually see more sculpt and detail there. You can't see that from the front because of the flames, but you can see the sculpt in his boot and his, his pants that are going down that he's wearing. You can see all the wrinkles there. That looks nice. And then as you turn him around and you look at the base, I love the way that his cape drapes on top of the base. That looks really, really nice. And then as you go up, you can see the folds in the cape. It looks really awesome as well. But this is a Diamond Select figure. It's $49, and just like all of the others, you'll never have one without any issues. And this was my main issue with this one. It looks like they put it in the packaging before it had dried, and you can see where the paint rubbed off. And then in the packaging, you can actually see the paint inside of the packaging. And I think it may be the issue with a lot of these figures is that they end up packaging them before they're completely dry, and the paint ends up rubbing off on them. But otherwise, it looks really good. And as you look at the other side, it's just like uh, what we just previously looked at. I love the flames on top of his shoulder and the same sculpting and detail as you go down with the sash. There's no ring on this finger, but as you go down further, you can see you have some of the same really cool detailing in the base, which I'm a huge fan. Love it so far. So now we'll turn it back around to the front and you can see the flames again. Love how it transitions in color from dark to light. And I really, really, really like the flames on his shoulder, really dig it in. And I think the best part of this is the flames on his shoulder and his portrait both look absolutely amazing. And one more flaw that stood out to me is his hands. You can see this piece that's kind of, I don't know if you want to call it gouged out or not, but you can see where the paint has chipped away from that. That was it. So as I zoom out and you take a look at this figure as a whole, tell me what you think. Is it a figure that you would pick up? Are you a Dracula fan? Because I'm a huge Dracula fan. And even with 
the shortcomings of this statue, I definitely think is worth a pick up. I do wish I had a better version of it than the thing on the back, you know, the paint issue, but that's not going to be seen. And then the one on his hands. But otherwise, I think it's a really cool figure. And if you have not seen the Netflix original series, Castlevania Dracula, please check it out. Well, that concludes my review of Dracula from the uh, Netflix series. And remember to always collect what you like and not the hype. Until next time, my friends. Peace.